Hello there, you splendid people. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Train Simulator 2020. Uh, we're on the Sir Selva line. Sir, Sir Selva and his line, uh, somewhere alpine. Uh, I'm going to assume it's, it's Switzerland, uh, but I'm, I imagine it's Austria or Germany. Uh, but uh, whichever one it is, it's, uh, it's uh, remarkably pleasant to look at. And, uh, and we're here today sporting the... Uh, uh, well, I mean, would you look at it? I mean, check it out. It's a train. Yeah, I, uh, there's a shocker. Uh, it is, in fact, the RHB uh, General Electric 4x4. Uh, ideal for going up a mountain path, uh, giving four-wheel drive. And uh, this is the, uh, the Mark II uh, version there. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, there's a train coming. Uh, we, should, we should look at it with our face. There it is. Yeah, it's doing the, doing the thing over there, look. Apparently, oh, well, I've got my passengers on. So I can crank it. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's study the cranking controls here, and there's there's plenty to choose from, and undoubtedly one of them will be the right one. Let's uh, let's bang it into gear. There you go. Make noises. There you go. That's it. It's making noises. Anyone would think I'd already looked at this. Uh, now, my vacuum pump. Uh, well, I, I I ran a dustbuster over the place earlier on, and it seems to be fine. So I don't think we need to vacuum any more than that. <laughs> okay. uh, and then uh, and then we just uh, eat the ease ease that off a bit yeah wait for the pressures to do the pressure thing and then we uh, we don't want to go Bremson at the moment we want to go a bit far and so uh, so let's fire on it there you go have some marvelous uh, give it a bit of a toot toot <whistles> all right just a toot then all right have a bit of bombastic intro and I'll be back as we uh, wend our way through the mountains. Well, hey. Right, we've just got a got a bit of a short hop of a route today. It's, uh, it's, it shouldn't be uh, too much effort, uh, and uh, we'll we'll see what this thing is made of. But if you have a look at it, look at the acceleration on this monkey. Uh, it's uh, it's terrific. All right, ease it down, ease it down. Because obviously, I'm not bothered about my score. Uh, all I'm bothered about is uh, is reaching my destination ahead of schedule as often as possible. So uh, right now we're due in at 11.08 and we're currently scheduled to arrive at 11.07, uh, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we can even go a bit faster than this because we're allowed to do 75 here, which is lovely. Uh, what's that take us to? 75% of throttle? Magical. I'll, I'll get it going a bit and then we'll uh, we'll have a look on the outside and we'll do some action camera and all that kind of all that kind of business uh, that you've you've come to know love and, and expect let's give it a bit yeah that's it just floor it uh, we're allowed to do 75 here it's very safe although saying that we have got a 60 coming up so maybe ease it down a smidge there maybe maybe ease it down quite a lot given that we've got a 60 coming up all right ease it down ease it down ease it down ease it down Easy now. Oh, I've, I've hammered the brake on there. Uh, the old steering wheel uh, me mechanic for uh, for driving around is uh, is quite uh, well, it's, it's, it's quite jaunty. Uh, it's uh, it's not necessarily forgiving. It likes you to uh, likes you to treat it keenly. There we go. That should do nicely. Yeah, leave it about there. No, maybe a bit more. Just just a dab more. That'll be perfect. We're not stopping here, are we? No, we're not. We're going past another tra uh, shot opportunity missed. Here we go. We'll have uh, we'll have a gently cruising into view kind of a shot here. There we go. Now, one of the cool things about this is it's actually got some tilt on it as well. Now, I might need a slightly sterner angle uh, to, uh, to to demonstrate the tilt in full effect. Uh, I also might need to be exceeding the speed limit a little bit more just to, you know, put the train through its paces. Uh, I'm very much like a, a test pilot in the uh, the train circles these days. Uh, people people give me the trains to show them how to, uh, how to do the business. And there we go, oh, flipping it, we're doing too much business. Let's, let's be, oh, hang on, we've got a story. Uh, Sir Selva, above the forest. Sir, surely is over. Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, sir is under. Yeah, sur la table, isn't it? That's French. Uh, it's under the table. Yeah, see, I know. That's that's about it. I can remember as far as French goes, but it's, it's interrupting the flow. Should we should, I should just get on with this. Uh, is the name of the valley for the anterior Rhine in the uh, Sir Sylvan uh, dialect of Romanche? Or Romanche. 
which is what you do when you want to get an Italian to pipe down a little bit. Uh, close this window to continue <clears throat> the Valendas uh, Sagogan platform. To, these are all made up words. These aren't actual places. You're just you're having a wind up. Hold on, this feels like we might be having a bit of a tilt. We're having a bit of a tilt. Yeah, there we go. Look, tiltage, magical. Uh, and if you're here at the right time. Uh, you can also clock uh, individual carriages doing a bit of tiltage as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, look, I'm, I'm impressed by it, but it doesn't take much to impress me. We're, we're perhaps overcooking this a smidge at the moment. Uh, let's, uh, let's take it down to gas mark four. Uh, there you go, about there. How's that feel? Still too fast. All right, we'll take it out of there. I'm sure it'll be fine, but we do want to, we want to catch the, uh, the independent tiltage here. All right, not so much on the independent. I saw a bit earlier on where it was, uh, there was very much some independence going on uh, of the tilting behaviour. But here is Valenda Sagogan, uh, Sagoin, Sag Sag uh, whatever it is, is coming up. Oh, hold on, this is one. Look at that. Oh, scream if you want to go faster. Or if you want to stop, but I'll ignore you and go faster. So, uh, so your screaming is, is ultimately futile. Uh, right, let's uh, let's put a bit of brake on here. I am I am rather frisking this one a little bit too much. I've lost twenty eight thousand points already. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what my points balance started out at. None, I think it's traditional, uh, and therefore we're going for an all time low score. Uh, well, that's fine. Uh, I will live with it. Uh, right, we've got ooh, a kilometre, or it could be a mile. I've really no idea um, until our first stop here. So I possibly ought to get on the blower to the uh, to the passage, and uh, and let them know what's up. Hello, passage. It's your pilot speaking. Uh, we're currently on a train, and uh, and we're heading into uh, Valendas Sagogan, uh, which is uh, one of the lesser-known characters from Game of Thrones. And uh, if you have uh, angered uh, Valendas Sagogan, uh, they may well invoke the old rites and decide to, uh, to, I don't know, excommunicate you from, uh, from the church of Sagogan. Uh, if you're bothered about such things, well, you might want to change your ways. Anyway, I'm being joined in the cab today uh, by the uh, Ladies Auxiliary Umpa Band who are, uh, who are dishing us a polka uh, to keep us in the mood. I can't get them to shut up, so I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the polka that they're currently dishing. Right, uh, uh, Valenda Sagogan coming up. I pronounced it wrong, but you don't mind. Uh, I should probably be breaking about now. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Uh, Valenda Sagogan Station uh, is located on the south bank of the Rhine, which is in Germany, and was opened in 1903. The Gerda Bridge that crosses the river and collects Valendas and Sagogan is visible on the left. Cool story, bro. Uh, well, close this window to uh, continue the station and passage. Hold on, I should never mind. I, was, I, I wanted to look for the bridge, see? I don't, nope, nope, go that way. That's it. Hammer the brake on. You possibly want to hammer it a little bit. I'm not seeing a platform here, uh, but uh, my understanding of the Valenda Sagogan region is that uh, basically you just fling passengers out the door and they can, they can deal with it. Uh, bizarrely enough, I've actually done quite a good landing there. Uh, just ease it off a little bit. We've got a bit further to go. And in your own time. That's lovely. Sir Gogan. And get off my train. Right, good. There you go. That's uh, the get off my train. Uh, but hold on. I pressed 8. And something something miraculous hasn't happened. Let's, uh, well, there we go. Got the free can. There you go. Look. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we have such a cavalier attitude uh, towards track safety here. They just kind of go, now nah, get off the track and, and jump in the gravel. And then, uh, I don't know, all ballast, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then when you're done, when a train's out of the way, cross over. Now, you can choose to cross over while the train's still there. But uh, I put it to you, that might not be the, the optimum way to do so. Anyway, I hope you noticed that uh, uh, that we arrived 13 seconds ahead of schedule. Yeah, I'm a flipping professional. And I only had to uh, add 50% on top of the speed limit there to make it in on time. So, uh, so there's that. 
Although maybe I did make a bit of a pig zero at the landing. Right, we'll start to uh, start to ease the brake off so we can make a quick getaway. Uh, rip it down to about 5%. Now I'll hold us. Whoa, no, no, no. We're not going yet. Good. Yeah, fine. I barely moved the train. Everything was groovy. Let's uh, let's hammer hammer time. Apparently we're supposed to wait for a signal. We're going to assume it's green. It's green, look. Perfect. Okay, and, uh, and we are rolling. Uh, next, we're going under this bridge from Monaco. Uh, if you've ever played a Formula One racing game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I think it's called... Uh, Bridge at Monaco is uh, what they uh, what they tend to call it. Uh, we've got quite a few bridges coming up on this. We're flipping it, I'm going quite fast. Uh, just just steady on. Ste I I like these nippy little electrics. They just kind of go bit of talk, governor. They kind of go, oh yeah, oh it's it's good to talk. Hey, good puns. Um, and uh, I tell you, yeah, good puns and a, a really old reference there. So that only four people get it in the first place. And then someone goes, you know, you sound a bit like Bob Hoskins. I go, no, I don't. He's dead. Um, right. Where are, we, where are we going next? Uh, we're going to Versum Safian. Platform Ein. Probably. Um, uh, is, uh, is our next... Oh, hold on. More story time. Uh, the Vorderhain, Vorderrhein, I should say, is one of the two sources of the Rhine. Exciting. Uh, its catchment area of 1,500 square kilometres is located predominantly in the canton of, uh, of Graubunden. Grey, grey Bunden, grey hills. Bunden? Nah, that's not hills. Grey something or other. Grey, grey Bunding. So, uh, if you like a grey Bunding, and I'm sure you do, there's, oh, I've got a, I can agitate that, look. Ah, that's worth the price of admission alone. Um, it, it, does it, it doesn't actually appear to, that's brilliant that is oh yeah, oh no I'm no longer being dazzled by the sun uh, obviously this is going to have a greater effect if you are 16 feet tall but uh, in my case not so much can we, uh, can we you don't flip, can we put a blaster shield down no, no blast shield for you not allowed to open the window oh hold on, I'm lying you are allowed to open the windows that's good now, I know it feels like I'm zoomed in here. I'm honestly not. I'm, I've, I've tried all of the zooming buttons, and I am zoomed out. Uh, we're just in a, a cab that is incredibly small. Uh, but then, uh, you know, Swiss people are renowned for being small. I'm not even certain we're in Switzerland. But uh, I'm sure everybody will correct me, so there's really nothing to worry about on that case. I, frankly, we haven't had a good case of, uh, of everybody gets upset because I get one very small detail wrong. What, the country of origin? That's a small detail. Get over it. We're in a train. I spotted that bit correctly. And, uh, and you know, it's a 4x4. Four four. So, uh, you know, I've put it in all-terrain and we're, we're rocking and rolling. There you can see. Oh, what is... Oh, I see it's a slidey down window. Oh, fab. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're good then. Right up until the catch goes at the top. Hang on. Green, green, yellow. Ah, uh, yellow's perfectly fine. That's, that's all good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll push that. Uh, thank you for the... What now? Yes? Any other questions? I don't know. My, my uh, missile lock has, has, is, keeps intermittently flashing, uh, which could lead to trouble. But at the moment, I feel, I feel relatively confident that uh, we will outrun... Uh, Maverick and his homies uh, who are trying to home in on us and, uh, and deal. There's another yellow look. Is you going to have a... You are, you are. You've been stressy again. Stop it. No, no, just relax. You're worse than me dishwasher. And, you know, if you don't... Oh, hold on, we're going well fast. Uh, hang on. Hey, easy. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're supposed to be stopping here. Oh, cranky. Full crank. Yeah, we might well be early, but it doesn't count if you don't stop. I love both the brakes and the accelerator on this beast. Uh, it really does know how to get the business done. Yeah, keep coming. I'll just ease her in. We've got uh, a minute and a bit to uh, to still be on time. And we'll do it from the little pictogram at the bottom. Uh, no, Bremson, Bremson! And Bremson. There you go. Once we've Bremsoned here, everybody can get out. Get out! You like to 
give a friendly announcement once in a while. Should we go back to the uh, action camera? There we go. All action, all the time. Let's uh, give it a bit of orbital bombardment camera. Right. Or, or maybe this is, you know, the, your F-16 on... No, it would, wouldn't be an F-16, it'd be a, an A-10. F-16 and we'll fire and forget, so your A-10 coming in and going... <laughs> which is an A-10 noise there. Quite quite what the Swiss have done, or Germans, couldn't tell you, uh, to upset uh, an A-10 pilot. I, I honestly couldn't say. Um, I, you know what, if I overdubbed that with actual A-10 machine gun noises, that would come out quite nicely. Yeah, now that I've referenced it, however, I, I think I might have wasted the joke. It'll either come off or it won't. I mean, that does mean that when I'm editing this, I've got to go out and find a video of an A-10 machine gun going off. Well, it's chain guns, isn't it? Is it chain gun? Or it's like a minigun. So it's a, it's a couple of miniguns giving it the beans. And uh, and that's all. That's all. Now. Anyway, right, let's get ourselves prepped and good to go. Uh, we'll, we'll give the uh, passengers a little bit of encouragement. <whistles> come on. Get up. Get on. Get out, uh, all the rest of it. Now, I saw at one of the stations uh, that there were some uh, some enthusiastic rail fans with cameras and notebooks and whatnot. And I don't know if that was just because there was an Instagram model nearby uh, or whether they were genuinely hanging out waiting for me to make an appearance. I mean, these days could be either. Um, you know, there's there's not a lot that uh, that car, Dashy and Lady and I don't have in common, um, frankly. Uh, you don't want to see those photos, I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, right, okay, good, yep, all right, what next? All right, let's push another button. Uh, I see. Oh, hello, look at him. He's, lo oh, hold on, I was looking at the dude, but we've got some more story. Uh, Regio Express, Express trains operate an hourly surface, uh, service. I can learn to speak any time. I just choose not to. Regio Express trains operate an hourly service from Versum Safian. Mm. Glacier Express services between San Moritz and Vermat uh, also pass through daily. Well, that's super. They don't stop, obviously. I mean, no one wants to get out of this one shed town. Uh, the Post Auto uh, serves the station hourly to spare the passengers having to climb to the actual village and uh, and to open up the whole Safian Valley. Safian, whatever, valley. Well, I'm sure the valley is well and truly. Oh, we can go. All right, Captain Tash, we're going. Don't you? I mean, you look jolly pleased with yourself. You look absolutely thrilled to bits to be on board. Um, and frankly, I can't say I blame you. It's a lovely day for it, and I'm treating you to quite the thrill ride. Uh, right, off we trot. All right, and have some. No, no, just, just look. I'm using a mouse, right? I know it's a very precise means of controlling anything. It's also analog. You might want to respect that, instead of your digital keyboard jiggery-pokery and uh, another tomfoolery that you insist on using. We went through those points at quite a lick, didn't we? Uh, anyway, we're supposed to arrive at 11.21, currently on uh, on target for uh, for 19 minutes, but we are going well fast. If I don't come off the tracks here, it'll be a miracle. But uh, Ruin Altar. Okay. The Ruin Altar, uh, it's obviously another part of that religion we were talking about earlier on, uh, is a canyon created by the anterior Rhine between Ilans, uh, Glion, and uh, Reichenau. Uh, it is sometimes referred to as the Rhine Gorge or the Swiss Grand Canyon. We're in Switzerland. It's the Swiss Grand Canyon. Uh, protected by cliffs several hundred metres high, the area is forested and a haven for wildlife. It's also a popular location for river rafting. Well, I'm thrilled to be a part of it, and uh, and that's that's all jolly good, jolly good business there. Oh, me using the brake. Oh, we're going into the tunnel. I want to sound a hooter as we go into the tunnel and see if we get a bit of uh, bit of hooter blowback, echo. I think that's what some people call it. And are we dark? We're dark. Ah, oh, some quality reverb there as we go over a girdery bridge. We do like a girdery bridge, preferably green, but we'll we'll soak that one up in whatever fashion it decides to go. We are really, we are really ripping it through here. This is great. Go on, son. Yeah, he's large. Look at him. Look at the look on his face. He's going. I flipping love my job. Uh, I'm speeding. I don't care. Uh, 
we're doing 86 in a 60, we're not falling off the tracks, and we don't care who knows it. Uh, you know, I think I'm make, making this my mission from here on in. Just, just go as fast as you can, within reason. Oh, which is, <laughs> we're very bold. Yeah, well done. Within reason. In fact, you know, we're not even... I don't even have the throttle on at the moment. I could be going quite a lot faster, but I imagine we would end up in the aforementioned Cheese Gorge, uh, which would be, uh, well, undesirable. Uh, we've got some pressure thing going on here. Is that brakes being applied, or is that just... Uh, the, the level of, uh, of anticipation that I should feel under to, uh, to do a good performance here. Anyway, we've got another bridge, it's a tunnel, tunnel, it's not a bridge, it's a tunnel. Got another tunnel coming up, and we all like them, don't we? Uh, do we want some more whistle? I rather think we do. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, spooky. Must remember this for next year's Halloween video. And I'm sure if you're watching this, next to a sleeping partner, uh, right now, they are hitting you. I'll stop. Nah, I won't. Nah, I'll keep going. Nah, it's worth it. Uh, it's okay. It serves you right. There. Yeah. I'm not bored of it. Keep going. That's it. Because uh, we've all got our traditions while we go through time. There you go. That's enough of that. Flipping heck. Yeah, all right. I'd started to have enough of it. Um, oh, we've got a bit of a... No, we've, we're still down bubble at the moment. Oh, give us some more cheese. Let's go. What? Yeah. Washing machine's done again. Uh, right, okay. What? Everything's fine. Just relax. I've got this well, un well in hand. There uh, yeah, you go. Yeah. I know. We've got a, we've got a station coming up in a kilometre or mile or something. Thing. Right, go on. Uh, you're gonna go beeping again, aren't you? At this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. That's okay. I've, I've got you. I've got you. All uh, right, ease it back some. That's possibly easing it back more than we need to. Oh, I don't know. No, that might be easing it back an appropriate amount. Because uh, we're coming into uh, either Punt Ruin Altar or Trin. Oh, hello. Here we go. Uh, the Punt Ruin Altar Bridge is 105 meters in length. Uh, brilliant. And has a maximum span of roughly 75 metres. Gracious, bridge is longer than, than the gap it needs to cross. Uh, on the Trin side of the river, it has a concrete abutment uh, with a pedestrian passage. I've given you a moment there to insert your own jokes. Uh, the support cables carry a weight of over 100 tonnes. Goodness me. Well, you know... I know, you didn't really come here for a facts and figures lesson, but you got one anyway. Aren't you lucky? Uh, right, we're coming in a minute and a half early. I know, it's, it, I mean, that's the level of perfection that I have these days. It's uh, always arrive a little bit ahead of time. Don't know what these do, but, uh, but they're great. So it occurs to me that uh, I might be the only uh, train simulator video channel where you do spend 90% of every video just looking at a single point on the control dashboard kind of thing. And yet somehow you're still here. I do my best to make you stop watching, but no, nope, you just can't get enough of it. I don't know. Right, brakes on, Bra brakes on, brakes on, brakes on, brakes on. All the brakes, all the time. Come on, we don't want to overshoot. Give it a toot. We there, we're there, get out. Dirty passengers. There we are. He's still there. Look, he doesn't want to get out. No, he's uh, he's he's having a lovely time. Either that, or he's about to uh, recreate various scenes from Weekend at Bernie's. Uh, I can't rule either out. I tell you, uh, he certainly looks jolly pleased with himself. Uh, the only downside, of course, to uh, to arriving early is you have to hang around for longer. And uh, and unlike your train simulator world, uh, you can't get out and go for a trot which is something I like to do, go and introduce myself to the passengers. Well, I mean, that said, I could spectral my way into the train and go, Hello, passengers! Which I'm sure they'll find delightful. Uh, what's that? What do we think that is? Do you think that's a Renault? Oh, yeah, it might be a Renault. Oh, or, a, or a Volkswagen. It's not a Transit. It's too tall to be a Transit. Yeah, although that, that is obviously a Volvo. That's one of those uh, Volvo cross whatnots. Okay, good. Right, what else have we got going on? Oh, I've, I, 
uh, I transmitted myself through the uh, through the carriage there. That'll never do. Would you like just a moment to look at it and and uh, and embrace the madness? Because it's worth it. I mean, look at that. It's quite attractive. Uh, you know, if I wiggle the mouse around a little bit, it's very obvious it's not just a screenshot. I know. Those, these, this is the level of uh, the level of something that I, I provide for you. Uh, but look, hey, you, you go down here, you look down here, it's, it's got all the stuff happening, look. All the, it's got all the business. Uh, plenty of plenty of things. Uh, it's got some serial numbers on there. Uh, get ready to write this one in your notebook. It's uh, AB1541, as you jolly well know. And uh, it's uh, currently got 12 of 30 people on board, uh, which, is, uh, which is splendid. Uh, yeah, this is a digital readout, obviously, uh, Bremser. So, I mean, the other, what, 18 people can use a maximum of, uh, what are we talking here, three tons. I actually think we'll be all right. Although, you know, seeing the amount of luggage some people stick on, uh, who who knows? So, uh, there is that. Oh, I didn't get myself ready to go. That's, that's boogie. Go on. Uh, grab it from here and then grind it all the way over. There you go. Right, we're off, we're running, we're rolling, we're skipping, we're jumping and flapping our way to our next destination, which is uh, the Reichenau Tamins, uh, uh, Gleis Dry. Yeah, it is. All of that. There you go. We'll, uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just sit there for a moment. Right, I'm going to fiddle with the vacuum pump. See what it does. If I, put, if I crank the vacuum pump up to max pumpage, what do we get from that? Does it have an impact on things, or is that merely the amount of vacuum the pump is currently generating for the recharging of brakes and whatnot? We're doing 80 miles per hour here, all kilometres. If it's kilometres, obviously this infraction is not quite as severe. Uh, so, but uh, regardless, we should pay some heed to things, largely because I'm most of the way across this mission now, and I don't want to fall off the track. Uh, that's good. And with a, with a tippy train like this one, one would imagine falling off the track is a very real possibility. Very real. Uh, right, what does this do? Oh, I could I can do things with a clipboard. Dun 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 Yeah, it doesn't. I it it serves very little purpose when there's nothing actually on the clipboard. There's a bit of river and some rocks and whatnot. It's probably midges galore down there if you were to. Doing that. Oh, I lost some points for drive quality. No, no, no. Clearly, clearly, you've never worked the fun fair. Uh, people pay extra for drive quality like this. Yeah, yeah they uh, they call it excitement. Uh, I'm running the uh, the railway equivalent of a waltzer, and, uh, and don't they just love it? There you go. We've eased it down some, and now we're under the limit, so we crank it back up again because we can't make our minds up. And that's how. We there you go, sit about there, that seems to be a relatively comfortable speed. Uh, what else we got? What, uh, is, is there anything else I should be looking at? No, you want to know what the handles do? Okay then. Uh, this one is the locomotive brake, which is off. Uh, this one is... Uh, actually, I don't think this one is labelled in, in any kind of detail. And it says... The train vacuum brake. That's a brake. This, also a brake. That is uh, a key to the grandfather clock. Yeah, that's your reverser action. Uh, how long have we got here? We got, oh, we got time. Keep going. Uh, this one, that you can't you can't play with that. It's not really relevant. These are the wipers. Now these are uh, this is brilliant wipage you've got going on here. You don't need to wipe both sides unless you really want to look at them both. All right, turn it off. Thank you. Uh, over there's your radio, obviously. A DAB, clearly. That's what it's worth is tech uh, and on here you can uh, you can write uh, 58,008 when the uh, when the need arises uh, and then over here is uh, is your your Spotify playlist uh, which also hooks up to the radio what's going on here two yellows now that sounds like bad news all right crank it down crank it down crank it down it's going to start bleeping at you it's going to be demanding action all right yeah yeah, no, I hear you. Presumably, two yellows. Get ready for a bit of stoppage. 
or is it two yellows means the next one's red? Because that's always what I thought it meant. Uh, I was going, oh no, that was, that was cars and things. But we are, I mean, we're, we're in plenty of time. We're arriving a minute and a half early again to the uh, Reichenau Tamins platform dry. And uh, and that's all uh, that's all good. There you go, have a look at the, uh, have a look at the bridge. If you're very lucky, you can have a story about it. Oh, there's, there you are, look. Uh, on the 4th of November 2018, a new second steel bridge was put into operation to expand rail capacity as part of a project investment of approximately 32.5 million Swiss francs. We're in Switzerland. Uh, this new 200 metre long bridge with V supports carries the name Sora Guivna, uh, Romanche for small sister. All right. Uh, basically, uh, if you can't get across the water, climb over your sister. This is what it's saying. Little sister. If, you, if it's an older sister that you've got, you are fresh out of luck. Uh, the old uh, Hinterrhein Bridge uh, was then repaired, refurbished for a return to operation in November 2019, at which point they're going to just throw the little sister onto the scrap heap like so much bridge. Uh, right, okay, good. So we've got your uh, Reichenau Tamins Platform 3 uh, coming up here. Uh, there's a, a naughty wagon that has been sat in the naughty sidings there to think about what it's done. I hope it learns to uh, learns to respect whoever it was it disrespected. Right, we're going to aim for the end of the shed here. Now, what I want is I want to be able to see the shed and my steering wheel at the same time. There you go. That's it. Good. Mate, you're over the line. Step back away from the line or I won't go any further. Actually, I will. I will go a bit further because I want to arrive on time. Um, uh, you're such a... You're such a uh, hot temptation, I think. Yeah, I know, that's a black box reference. I could have sung it, and then you'd probably got it, but uh, I opted not to, because uh, you don't need that. Right, okay, double yellow there, so uh, we'll come in to stop here. Just hammer the brake on. Yes. Right. Out you get, bruv. We're all done here. We're done with you. I don't know if I've got to go anywhere else or not. I imagine it will tell me, but uh, feels like we've done a we've done a bang up job on this one. What have we got up here? We've got uh, uh, Betriebarts, uh, Betriebsart, which is I don't know. I can't read it. Uh, max ninety kilometres an hour. No, I've gone faster than that. Normal, yeah. Schluss, close, yeah. Uh, lock iron, the uh, lock all. Is this the doors? Yeah, it could be the door control. Okay, cool. What are these noises? <gasps> it's a flipping freight train. And we're being overtaken by it. This will not stand. No, we should we should give chase and uh, and steal their precious things. I'm sure we can we can haul that stuff around. I'm uh, more than capable. Okay, now is he using the same track that I would? We'll use the pursuit cam and go find out. Come on. Oh, well done, driver. That was a successful journey. Three times. Well, there you go. I've been Colonel Failure, and I've had a successful journey in triplicate. That's uh, because it's Swiss, Swiss efficiency. That is, uh, I'll take my carbon copy back with me. Uh, I'll file one, stick my signature on the other, and hand it into the authorities. Uh, if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe to this beautiful channel, where things like this occasionally occur, and, uh, and uh, you know, that's, uh, what else? Catch you next time. Cheerio. Now I usually stick these kinds of dead. Hmm. Now I usually stick these kinds of disclaimers in the uh, in the comments there, but uh, but none of you read the description, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'll stick it here just in case any of you are still tuned in. Um, I got the key for this from the very very nice people at the Rivet Games. There, uh, they even sent me the other key that I'd need in order to make this key work. I don't know, there's a lot of science involved, I suspect, but uh, maybe one, one of the keys is for the whistle, and the other key is for everything else, because the whistle is, is clearly the star of the show. Um, anyway, if you've got a route that you want me to, you know, perambulate along on, uh, on my merry way, why not bung a comment in and, uh, and do that? Alternatively, you can complain about me not knowing uh, where exactly I was driving. That's, that's perfectly valid. Um, uh, failing that... 
Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, regale me with your favourite A10 uh, tank buster kind of uh, 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 anecdotes. No, I know. It's pretty thin, isn't it? Yeah, I should just get out of here. 